Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we have a couple of very interesting news. We are starting with this one. This one is not just interesting, it is very surprising. Can you believe it? Lionel Beaki dropped out of Arnold Classic UK. He is not gonna be able to compete. I can't believe this happened. I'm just joking, this always happens. Every single show he was supposed to compete over the last five years or so, he always drops out in the end. Now, it's, it's become funny. For some reason, this guy can never make it to these shows. Now, before this show, there wasn't a lot of talk about Lionel Beaki, and you were probably wondering why. I never mentioned Lionel Beaki. I never thought he was going to be in the top four. It was always Andrew, Martin, uh, James Hollingshead, and Mark Hector, and then like Patrick Jones and the others. Nobody talked about Lionel Beaki. Why is that? Well, because we were all skeptical. We weren't sure if he's going to make it. We didn't know. We couldn't even imagine him finally making it for once. But as you can see, at least in this photo and in many others, this guy actually looks like Flex Wheeler, basically. He has those genetics, he really reminds me of Flex Wheeler. He never brought not even decent conditioning, and he got away, even without conditioning, because of his crazy shape. But today's conditioning standards are really high, so if he really wants to do well, he needs to come in peeled. I mean, not necessarily peeled, he can come in Andrew Jacked conditioning, which is like a lot of details, not super crisp glutes and, and back, but like good conditioning. If he brought that, Lionel Biaki, he would be unstoppable. We never saw that. And lately, for the past, I don't know how many years, he drops out of every show. So let's check out this post that he made and what he explains why he didn't make it. So he says, with regret, I announced that I cannot compete at the Arnold Classic UK as planned, due to Visa. I know that many of you were rejoicing at my return, but unfortunately it will not be uh, for this time. All these hardships still push me to preserve, I keep faith no matter what, and I will choose another show to compete, thank you for your support. So it's Visa issues. Is that really what is going on, or was he just simply not ready? If you look at this photo, conditioning seems solid, it looks fine, if he dehydrated himself, I think he's just holding a little bit of water here, if he lost this, this tiny layer of water, he would be pretty lean, he would be pretty conditioned. But I don't know if this photo is recent, is it from now, because I remember him posting a lot of photos right in front of this uh, chair that is in the background, maybe it's just a chair that he has in his home and he likes to take progress photos uh, in front of it because of good lighting, or maybe it's just an old photo and he wasn't ready and that's why he dropped out. I also heard the rumors that he has a criminal record and that's why he can't travel, he can't get to the UK. He's from France and UK is not really in European Union, so that could be an issue. However, soon there will be Yamamoto Pro Cup in France, and that is a show that he can do. I think it's like one week after Aaron Classic UK. So if he doesn't show up there, then what are we talking about? What is his excuse then? That's in France. So he can do that show. I'm sure we'll see him over there. But unfortunately, we won't see him in Arnold Classic UK, though this will not change anybody's prediction. Nobody had this guy in that top five or whatever. Nobody considered him, even though he was on that list, because we kind of expected this to happen. Now, let's move on to people who are actually going to show up and compete. If you guys have any trouble sleeping, you should know how important sleep is. And if you don't want to go with something a little bit more hardcore, like sleeping pills, there is a supplement, a natural product by the old school lab. It's called Vintage Bliss. It has a lot of natural plant ingredients that really help you sleep very, very well. If you guys don't like it, you can return it and you will get your money back. If you want to buy it, there is a link down below. And if you use a code Ivan, you get a 15% discount. And also by doing that, by buying any of the supplements and using code Ivan, you really help me and my channel. So thank you guys. For example, James Collins here, who is usually in people's top four, at least, some people had him winning the show, but because this time around he's experimenting, he's not working with a coach, he's doing this entire prep alone, including the final week, the peak week. And people are skeptical, we don't know what to expect. If he was still working with Patrick Tour, we would kind of know where he could land, but like this... We are not so sure. Uh, he doesn't work with Patrick. Recently he tagged him, but in his most recent photo I asked him a question. He wrote about his protocol as far as peak week and I, and I asked him, is this Patrick Tour's protocol? And he said, no, it's mine. So he's doing everything himself. 
he is consulting with Jordan Peters. Jordan JP is kind of uh, another set of eyes for James, but it's really all his protocols. Now, as you can see right here, he's 274 freaking pounds. That's heavy, man, that's heavy. I don't think he was ever this heavy at this conditioning. As you can see, his glutes are in and his hamstrings and his lower back. So he is quite lean. I just hope he's going to be carved up properly because right now he seems a tiny bit flat but there is still another whole day for him to carve up so we can kind of expect i can kind of expect him to be pretty good so in my prediction i have him probably in my top three i don't think i can see him beating this freaking guy martin fitzwater who looked like this at 16 days out of Arnold Classics. So he has, we have been hiding and I've been promising something special. This was 16 days out. I was far better here than Texas and I've only improved from here. So this is Martin at 16 freaking days out of Arnold Classic UK. Not one day out like James, 16 days. And he says he even improved in those 16 days and I believe him. We didn't see the photos from right now, but I believe him. I believe we'll see something special. And I think this show is going to be between him and Andrew Jack, just like it was in Texas Pro. Only I have a feeling that this one is going to be closer than Texas. I think Martin improved more than Andrew Jack did. What am I basing that on? It's just a hunch, it's just a feeling. But if I had to make an argument, maybe it's because of this photo, because he posted this at one day out, he says inner peace before the storm, so I'm guessing this photo is from today, from yesterday actually, and his face doesn't really look sunk in. So I don't think he got super, super shredded. I'm expecting him to be similar to what he was at Texas, which was an amazing package, which is probably going to be enough to win this show too, but I think Martin is going to push him a little bit harder than the last time. Of course, Martin is going to kill him in the back shots, unless Andrew got super conditioned, but I don't think he did. So if it is the same case and, and, and Martin got a little bit better, I think Martin is going to kill him in the back shots, like he did at Texas already. And as far as the front shots, I think Andrew is still going to beat him uh, pretty decisively, but I think it's going to be much closer than Texas. In Texas, Andrew was just a clear winner. It was an easy win. This time, I think it's going to be more of a challenge for Andrew. Alright, the next story is about Brion Ainsley, your former Classic Physique Mr. Olympia champion, who, as you can see, pretty much lost his legs, totally. Now, his legs are not even forming, there is basically no sweep, there is literally a dent in his outer head of his quads. I wouldn't even say that they're flat, there's basically a dent. If you look at his left leg, for example, the adductor is there, the teardrop is kind of there, but the lateral head completely vanished there is nothing going on and there is a little bit of a dent literally in the upper portion of the leg so his legs are completely melted this happens guys this happens when bodybuilders get older and brion ainsley is not exactly a spring chicken anymore he's like 45 something like that he's in his mid 40s if you check out his right leg, it's standing next to the mirror, which is completely straight. And you can see that a leg is following that straight line. There is basically no sweep whatsoever. And there should be some sweep when you put your legs in this angle, when you twist your fingers, uh, your, your feet actually to the side, and you have a little bit of a knee flexion. You should have something happening, but there is nothing, completely flat. So we can pretty much be sure that Brian's career is pretty much over. His legs were never great though, he never really had amazing legs, but they were much, much better back in the day. This is 2018, for example, uh, when he also won the Mr. Olympia. His legs weren't exactly the best on that stage. I think Chris Bumstead had better legs this year, but he was, Brian was more complete overall. But his legs were not weak, they were not bad, they were just fine, they were good. I can say his legs were good compare them to what they are today, like he completely lost the legs. This was sort of visible when he did the Arnold Classic last year, where he was, I believe, fourth, and you could see the decline in not just legs, but the overall physique, but you could see that his legs were asymmetrical, one leg was smaller than the other, and you can see that he was slowly fading in that body part, but now it's pretty much over, like he went a little bit overboard, his legs are completely melted, gone, this guy will never have a chance of being 
<laughs> not winning Mr. Olympia, but I can't even see him being in top five this year, not even close. I think he wants to do the classic this year and then uh, go to 212 next year, but I think his career is pretty much over. If he lost this much muscle in his legs so, so rapidly, and uh, if he's losing at this rate, where will he be next year? There could be many reasons for this. Maybe, for example, he had he has knee issues, so he's not squatting, and he will start doing that because maybe he had a surgery or something. I don't know. There could be many reasons. Maybe he's gonna come back, but if this is simply genetic because of age, for example, then yeah, he, he's over pretty much. What do you guys think? Tell me down below. All right, we also have a physique update. Not really a physique update, but let's say body fat check of Wesley Vissers. As you can see, his face is sunk in seriously. It's a proper death face. This means that he is going to bring something really conditioned on that stage. And with his classic shape, that's going to be something special. And he really does need to be conditioned. He was never really super diced. And I really hope he improved his legs at least a little. Now, is conditioning alone going to be enough to win this show? Absolutely not. Uh, Wesley has great... Uh, classic shape and that's probably going to take him a long way but as far as conditioning he has Mike the Bull coming and that guy is like the, the most conditioned guy in the world right now all categories considered nobody has this kind of lines this kind of dryness in the glutes and the lower back look at that Christmas tree look at the hamstrings he's coached by Patrick too right now he's not exactly super duper classic you know he doesn't have those pretty old school golden era shape but he has like small waist and stuff like that and he comes in peeled peeled man he doesn't know how to pose though you will see tomorrow, you have to see a video. I will post a video as soon as it happens, as soon as I got any video footage on this channel, so guys subscribe. But I was watching him last year at the Iron Classic Ohio and he was so clumsy, man. I mean, I, I felt like, I thought he was gonna collapse any moment. I thought he was gonna fall and trip or something. He, he doesn't know how to pose. That's going to hurt him for sure. But he's going to be peeled, that, that's no doubt. There is another big name uh, classic physique competitor doing the Iron Classic UK. It's Peter Molnar, Hungarian. This guy also looks pretty good right now. He's coached by Chris Asito and he looks to be in good conditioning. He has a pretty classic physique. He probably is going to bring better conditioning than Wesley and he's going to be more classic than Michael the Bull. So maybe he's going to win the show. Maybe it's going to be Michael. I don't see Wesley winning the Iron Classic UK. It's a bit of a big step for Wesley Vissers. Anyways, whatever happens, I will post it right here, guys. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.